it's gone. It, it, it's just gone. Like the rest of us, Denise and Robert Webb watch in awe and disbelief as that huge house teeters on the edge of a cliff over Lake Whitney. And you don't see how something that huge could get hurt or, or just disintegrate right in front of your face. But for the Webbs, it's even worse and far more personal because that's their house the world is watching. You know, that's, that's my life there that we're watching fall off. And it wasn't until you see it sitting there with what was your yard gone, what the deck that you used to sit on a chair and look at the, the lake, uh, you know, there's, it's gone. The 4,000 square foot estate home worth about a million dollars, they say, was a big chunk of the Webb's retirement nest egg. And their insurance policy likely does not cover earth movement. I want to leave that to my grandchildren. Uh, it's, a, it's a big hit. We caught up with the Webbs at their other waterfront property, an apartment along Florida's Miami Beach. Robert sharing his own photos and video of the lakefront house taken as the ground started to give way back in April. They were finally told to leave a few weeks ago. And you're thinking, you know, we've got time. And they're saying, no, get it out now. At that time, we, we got what we could, our, our furniture out of the house. When the Webbs purchased the home in 2012, it checked out fine, they say. Geologists and inspectors telling them it was perfectly stable. And so we bought it in good faith. So it's, it's, it's really tough. That house was special, and I, and I don't even know why it was so special, but it was special to me. Even with their emotions as unsettled as the ground beneath their house, the Webbs say they're worried about others' safety. They don't want boaters below to get crushed by debris or other onlookers to get too close to the edge. For now, all the Webbs can do is watch helplessly, knowing that what Mother Nature doesn't take of their home, a demolition crew will likely take by setting the place on fire in the morning.